Hello, dwarfs and dwarfettes. This is Jurgity Summons once again playing some Dwarf Fortress. And I noticed something. We have a yak and a camel sitting on our fortress, uh, just hanging out. And that can be a problem. The reason why is that a dwarf, or that certain animals need to graze or they'll starve to death. And they're not going to be able to graze inside in our, um, in our dining hall. Other than, the, you know, so we need to do something about them. And so I figured that would be a good time to introduce zones. Because this is something you'll need to set up quite early. Otherwise, your initial animals are going to starve. And they are, are excellent emergency food sources if it comes down to it. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a good area here. So I'm um, going down one level. I'm gonna, to open up the zones menu, hit I. And then you first define the zone. It's a little bit counterintuitive compared to the other ones. So I'm going to start right there. And we'll go, let's go all the way up to here. Um, now that I think about it, let's keep them away from the water a bit. Let's just go up here. I want to remove some of that area because I don't want them down close to the water. There we go. Oops, let's get rid of that one, sorry. Messing up here. Okay, and so I have this large area. Let's go back to the zone menu. See, so I have this large area here. Though this is a this is a big enough area for a couple of creatures to, to, to graze in. Actually, you can probably get a dozen creatures in there pretty easily. All right, so now that I have I have the eye tool up and this is selected, you get a menu on the right-hand side there. And um, those are just, just some different options. Um, so, for instance, if I wanted to specify uh, places to fish and restrict a dwarf from fishing anywhere else, I can do that as well. Um, garbage dump is useful, too. You can, um, later on, I can show how you can, um, you know, I'll, I'll even do that now, in a second here. Um, so, for now, we're going to set it to... Um, Let's see here, pen slash pasture, and that is N. And now that it's set to a pen, there's another option at the bottom there. It says set pen slash pasture information. So we're going to do that. So shift N. And this is where you assign creatures to that. So that's the second step on this. So using the plus and minus, I'm going to go down to the yak and assign that. And then the camel as well. I believe both of those need to graze. Dogs and cats do not need to graze, so you can leave them just the way they are. All right, and uh, we're going to back out of this menu, go back up to our fortress, and we'll watch. And someone will lead those creatures out to graze. Hopefully. Come on. <laughs> oh, I guess they'll go themselves. There we go. Now he's being led. I thought it was being led. Where'd it go? Oh, there they are. So, there you go. Happy camel and happy cow, probably uh, gnawing on some grass. So with that taken care of, that's um, the next thing I wanted to kind of show you is is the one of the other uses for zones, and that is the uh, Uber Pit of Doom. And so I'm gonna <laughs> Uber Pit of Doom, Uber Uber Pit of Rock Dumping. And so I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna set an area that's gonna be one by one. So just uh, you know enter twice on the same place. I'm going to put that right next to my mason shop. All right, you can see that little pile right there. That's the symbol for what the zone is at. Put my mouse over that. I'm going to change that type into garbage dump. And then that's all we need to do. So escape from there. And so nothing's going to happen for a second here. Well, nothing's going to happen for a minute until we actually do something about it. So I'm going to hit K to bring up the inspection tool. And then we can highlight a rock and hit the D key. And it will start to dump those rocks. Those, that, that is ordering those rocks to be dumped. So for instance, oh, well there was some rocks in this room here, but I guess the dwarf used it to make do a door or something. And so we'll dump a few of these rocks so I can show you what happens. There's a couple of advantages to this. Uh, one is it helps reduce some of the clutter in your fortress. Um, but also it moves these rocks closer to you want to, to where you really want them to be. Alright, so you can see idle dwarves are coming by and grabbing rocks. Let's see. Yep, they're doing it. 
Uh, since we have a small fortress, this may take a while, so be careful about how much you specify. Um, but if you do want to specify a large area once you have more dwarfs to haul stuff, you can hit D for designate, B for set building slash item properties, and then D for dump. So you can see the stuff that's highlighted is pink. That's already been dumped. So you can draw a box around more stuff. Let's just add a couple more here. And now that is also been designated to dump. So that's a way to get large areas worth of stuff. So there we go. So you can see that stuff is being dumped. Um, let's give them a few more chances to grab a few more stones because I want to show you one thing here. You can see where they're going right there to that pile. All right, so I'm going to pause it again. Bring K to bring up the inspection tool. And we're going to look at that pile. You can see all of those rocks right there. There's four jet and a couple conglomerate. Right now, those won't be used. And so if you want them to be available for use of your mason, you need to go to each one and hit F so there's no brackets around it. That will turn off the forbid. The other way of doing that is hitting D for designate, B for set building properties, and then C for claim. And then you can draw a box around that, and it will get all of them in there. So when you have a bigger fortress and you have a couple hundred rocks there that are all forbidden, you can do that to get all of them. All right, that's the trick for that's those are the uh, so those are zones. Those are a couple little quick little trips, ticks, tips, and tricks that will be very useful. And keep your um, emergency food supplies from dying. <laughs> all right, have a nice evening, everybody.